can I say something to you? And I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to make anyone mad or sad or anything like that. Why are you celebrating sin? And you may ask me, Kevin, what are you speaking of? Give me time. Why are you celebrating sin? I believe in the United States of America, back in the past, I think for the most part, having a baby before marriage was seen as shameful, right? I think in current times now, maybe not so current, I think some parts in Japan, maybe I should not speak about Japan, but anyways, I believe in the United States back in the past, I believe it was seen as shameful for a woman to have a baby before marriage. Okay. Now, I believe many of us know that fornication is wrong. Okay. So, why would you celebrate a woman or a man having a baby before marriage? Why? Would you celebrate a person for robbing a bank? Maybe not. Would you celebrate... Let me see. Would you celebrate someone murdering another? I hope not. Would you celebrate someone being very vulgar to others? Would you? Probably not. Why? Because what they have done is wrong. So if people who have babies continue to be, how can I say this? If people who have babies before marriage continue to be celebrated by maybe not all of them, so maybe I should say if some people who have babies before marriage continue to be celebrated, if this is the case, like, won't people continue doing it? If you celebrate me for doing wrong, what incentive do I have to stop it? If you are giving me $20,000 to be rude to people, why would I stop? Like, I am being <laughs> paid to do something that is wrong. You are giving me an incentive to continue doing what is wrong, right? So if you celebrate a person having a baby before marriage, won't that encourage other women or other men to do the same? You may say, I'm not saying you should not help the baby. I am not saying you should not help the mother and the father. I am not saying that. What I am saying, 
Why celebrate something I believe is wrong? Right? Why would you celebrate? Would you celebrate a person getting drunk? I believe some people do. But getting drunk is a sin, right? How can you be Christian and celebrate people doing wrong? How? Let me go here. How can you be Christian but be in support of gay marriage? You may say, Kevin, that is my son, that is my daughter, that is my cousin, that is my whomever. How can you say that you are a servant of God and you are going to a gay wedding? You are going to a gay engagement party? Like, you are in support of it. I think this is one of the reasons why this world is so how it is now. Let me say this. As Christians, I believe we are supposed to be the example, right? I believe we are supposed to be the ones to help others to get on the right check, track. So if we are supporting what is wrong, if we are choosing to not say anything at all, if we are partaking in bad things, yes, I believe so, what incentive do people have to want to change? Some people may think, you know, I am being mean, in this video, I am being insensitive or whatever else. Hey, you can like me <laughs> or you can hate me. I live for Jesus Christ. I am in support of his kingdom, not the ideology, I guess I can say, of this world. You can't live for God and for demons, can you? You can't go 50% God and 50% Satan, right? You can't say you love Jesus Christ, but at the same time, you love doing wrong. You have to choose one. I am not saying I am perfect. I am not saying I do everything right. No, of course not. But I am striving for perfection. Stop celebrating what is wrong. Right? Like, you can't say there is nothing wrong with, I don't believe you can say there is anything wrong with celebrating a woman or a man that had a baby before marriage. That is wrong. I believe that is so wrong. You can't say supporting gay marriage is not wrong. It is wrong. It's not so much about having, I hope this makes sense. Look now, I believe we are on this earth to be tested by God. And 
honestly, I think one of the reasons why we are on this earth, excuse me, to see how loyal we are going to be to Jesus Christ, to God. I think some people are living in this life as if this is all there is, as if there is no greater purpose. Oh man. This earth is not it. This life is not it. If you only, if you are only living for this life, you are wasting your time. I am living for the next life. I am not saying I am doing everything 100% perfectly. 100% perfect, no. But I am trying day by day to do what is right. We all should be that way. Let me stop here. God bless you.